Would it be completely ridiculous if I started my closet cleanup video with a haul? Yes, we're doing it anyways. I did buy some things from Aritzia and I did buy some things that arrived yesterday as well. I obviously have a problem, okay? I have a problem. I love clothes, I love them. I have too many of them. Here's the thought process, okay? The other day I was like, you know what? I have too much, I have too much stuff. I have too many clothes in the closet. And how often do I wear the clothes? Not very often. I do this horrible thing where I tend to wear things like a couple times and then some things I'll wear like a million times. But for the most part, things don't get worn all that often. So I just, I just want to get rid of everything. Start fresh. This is part of the starting fresh thing. So first of all, got a little skirt. It's really cute. It's actually very short, but there are shorts on the inside. So all is well. I wanna go play tennis. I wanna also look cute while playing tennis. Then I got this hoodie. Do I need another hoodie? Absolutely not, but I wanted it. Just wanted a comfy little set to wear at home because while everything is open, I do spend a lot of time inside because I do have to work. In yesterday's package, I got the matching little shorts, like a little set, and I just felt like, this would be really, wow, that is really, really comfortable. Yes, this was a good decision. I just now want it in every color. I love it. I also got this little set. Surprisingly enough, I have no biker shorts. So I wanted a nice classic black and I got a little matching sports bra slash like bra top that already has deodorant marks because I tried it on yesterday and I kind of want to put it on with my sweater. Yes, I'm gonna do that and then we're going to do the thing. I've been avoiding this for a while, but I'm moving soon. If you are new to my channel, I, I have a move coming up. It's very exciting. Definitely subscribe because it's gonna be a lot of fun, but I don't wanna move with all of the stuff that I currently have in the closet because that's a waste. There's no point to it. So we're gonna start the thing. We're gonna do it. I've been putting this off for a while. It is actually later in the day and I think it would just be more fun to do this with a glass of wine. Welcome to my bedroom. It's absolutely disgusting in here. Also, this is mostly juice, but cheers. Okay, so here's the deal. I moved into this place as a temporary spot. We have my closet, which is so much smaller than a closet that I've ever had. So it's gonna be fun. We're living a nice minimalistic life here in Toronto. I'm gonna try to anyways. Guaranteed. And what happened? What happened, you may ask? I got a lot of things. I got too many things. I'm going to be very harsh because I want to clear the closet so I can start over. That's the goal. And the plan is I'm gonna have three different categories. We're gonna have a keep, we're gonna have a donate, and we're gonna have a sell. So I'll have all the information of where I'm selling all this stuff in the description. Yeah, okay. I just don't know where to start. I'm procrastinating. I don't know what to do. Ooh, if I open this, I'm gonna expose myself. Yeah, I have a lot of things. So this over here is my disaster zone. I try not to look at it because it upsets me. It's very unorganized, as is most of my apartment, we know. Okay, we're gonna start here. Yes, and I'm gonna go through it and we're gonna make decisions. I'm gonna move all this first. We need a clean workspace. Uh, so I feel like the right move is to take everything out. Just take it all out. I had started making a donation bag, but then I decided I was overwhelmed. So we're just gonna take everything out. Like this is completely ridiculous, completely ridiculous. And I will say, this isn't actually my fault. This is all stuff I've received for work. So yeah. And here we have my old duvet, but I have literally nowhere else to store it in my apartment. So it goes back in here. Okay, let the sorting begin. massive pile of stuff. Well, there we go. This is fantastic. 
big. Okay, continuing. Okay, we have one full bag of stuff. This is actually a bunch of workout stuff. I have a lot of it. More than one person needs in their lifetime. So I'm actually gonna bring this over to my mom's house and she can have like some of her friends come over and my aunt and they can have fun shopping through this and more. But this is this is actually pretty heavy. Wow. Okay, one bag, good. I did tell you, I, oh, I need another bag. Okay, I did tell you guys I was being very serious about this. We are getting rid of stuff. I have to, this is ridiculous. Back to it. Another full bag for my mother and her friends. Like, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this because it makes me happy to have freed up some room. But I'm also really not enjoying my time. Like, I don't want to have to deal with this now. And then there's a lot more. Maybe I'll leave all this and we'll go through this now. That feels like a good idea. Part of the issue that I'm currently seeing is that I, I don't have space to put the other things. Like I just, I don't have room to even organize. Do I take all of this off and use this as my rack of things that I wanna sell? But then where am I gonna put these? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, oh my God, there's more up here too. We're gonna go through this. I just don't know where I'm gonna put things. Anyways, let's figure out when we get there. Start at the very end. But where do I put the stuff? Hmm. We'll put the stuff here for now. Got this really cute dress from Zara last fall. I wore it once. I think I can keep her for next fall. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. We have this very basic top from the front. Cool in the back. But I've had this for a year and I haven't worn it. So it's gonna have to go. Wait, so if I'm keeping this, I have to keep it in here. We have this bodysuit, but let's be realistic. Will I ever wear it? I want to say yes, but at the same time, I actually brought this from LA. I don't know why I thought this was something that I absolutely needed when I came here, but I did, and I have not worn it once. But it is pretty. Where would I wear it though? I don't know. With white pants. Maybe. It's a maybe. This is a cute top. I have indeed worn it, but would I wear it again? Like maybe in the fall, like a September vibe. She's another maybe. Okay, I also bought this when I first got back here. I went to Urban Outdoors and I was like, I should buy some things because I have nothing in my closet. I bought it, I think I've maybe worn it once and I think it was the day that I bought it. It's very soft, very comfy, but no, we're gonna sell her. Oh, I like this. I don't know if I'll wear this. I've never even tried this on. I've had this in the closet for a while. This side of the closet really doesn't get touched just due to the mess that was down there. So I just try not to look at it. This has potential. It's got like a cutout in the middle. Maybe. I did not even know I had this. I like it. Do I need the plain? I mean, probably. Very basic, very simple. I definitely have bodysuits that look like this. Ah, I'm gonna sell it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Oh, literally the thing right after that. I mean, it's different, but it's the same and it has a tag on it. So I'm just gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. Oh, we're gonna sell her. Another black tank. Do we keep this? I think it's probably cute. It's very soft. We'll keep her for now. I'm really trying to make a serious dent though. Like I want to do this. Had this for years. I love it. It's perfect for the fall. We're keeping it. Uh, sell. I love this top. It's like, I don't know. I wouldn't wear this out. It's very much like a comfy at home sweater. I have to keep this. Yeah. Worn this a bunch. You know what? I just, I want to start fresh. I'm going to sell it. I'm being serious today. Um, I have a million things like this. Do I keep this one or do I keep, I gotta keep this one. I also have like five of these. Like actually, I'm not kidding, same exact design. I feel like when this came out, everyone came out with it as well. So I can part with it. We're gonna get rid of it. So, cause I definitely haven't worn this. I actually have no idea why I brought this here. Cause it's not like a shirt that you need when you go on a trip. Cause I, I came here thinking I was gonna be gone for a month. But anyways, I wore this to the Jonas Brothers concert. And so for that reason alone, I don't wanna get rid of it. Cause it's got a lot of mems. But will I ever wear it again? Odds are low. Odds are low, but I'm keeping it anyways. Okay, I've worn this a couple times, but whenever I wear it, I kind of feel like a burglar. <laughs> I can't explain why I feel that way. Actually, I can't. It's the black and white stripes. It's definitely a really stupid thought process, but for some reason, it makes me feel that way when I wear it. And so I therefore don't love the way I look in it. I think it's a very cute sweater, but for somebody else, she's gonna go. 
So I love this set. I freaking love it. It's like a little tiny top with a cute little matching cardigan. And I really like it. I have to keep it. It's actually so soft too. I got that from Zara. Um, I've worn this once. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And it appears I got the same set or like a similar set, also Zara, but I know I have not worn this one, which makes me sad because it actually is cute. But like, will I wear it? Potentially. We're gonna keep it for now. Just love a little matching set. What can you do? Uh, will I wear this? Will I wear it? Will I wear it? Like probably, maybe. It's a maybe, maybe. I'm gonna have to have another glass of wine. Slash maybe like an actual glass because this is juice and some water with a tiny little bit of wine. Um, I got this. I have not worn it, which means I should sell it. This is pretty, but I will not wear it. So random, but I wore this top so much in the winter. I don't know why, but it was like my go-to. So I'm gonna keep it. I have never worn this out of the house, but I did wear it for an Instagram picture that I took with the self timer. But it's very pretty. It's very spring, which I should have worn it. Actually, you know what? I have reasons for why I haven't worn this out of the house. And it's because we were in lockdown for a long time. I had nowhere to go. We're gonna keep it. It's very pretty. I'm making a very good dent, guys. I'm feeling good. Okay, I actually brought this from LA. It's cute, like it's like a little cross sweater, but whenever I put this on, like to, to wear it out, I never end up wearing it. I think that is a sign that I should not keep it. Probably, right? Oh my God, I've actually made such a dent to the other side. Okay. This is not bad. This is very good. Feeling very good. Okay. All right. This is a great romper. I love it. So part of the reason why my closet is just like very full and horrible is because of this thing. But I don't really have any room <laughs> in my room to have this outside of the closet. So that's why it's in here. Obviously it would be ideal if I could have it elsewhere. Maybe I will move my room around again. Kind of like itching for that. Let me know if you'd want to see that. This is a very cute cardigan. We are keeping classic little bodysuit. We will keep. I got this when the sweater vests were very trendy last fall. Did I wear it ever? No. Do I want to keep it? Yeah, because I kind of think it could still be cute. What are the odds I'm going to wear this? Pretty slim. I should get rid of it. Let's be, okay, I'm doing it. I said serious. I've never worn this. I haven't even tried this on, but it's like cool. It's, I like it. I'm gonna keep it. We have this nice jumpsuit. Good for winter. Winter's a while away. Well, I still like it next winter. Potentially, we'll keep it for now. Here's a jacket. It's like a little furry guy. Actually, this is so soft. I've never worn it. Let's try it on. Like, cute for winter. Yes, I'm gonna keep it. And when I move, I'm actually gonna have like closets to put my jackets in instead of my own. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, these two guys. Absolutely love. These were from my clothing store. They sold out very, very fast and then we couldn't get our hands back on them again. I loved them. These are obviously staying. Okay, last two things that are hanging. Wow, this is really exciting. Brought this from LA. Just a nice basic black tee. I'm gonna keep this, it's from Redone. And then I bought this when I got here and where did I think I was going? Where did I think I was wearing this to? I don't know. Like it's cool, but I know myself, I'm not gonna wear this. I'm gonna sell it. Okay, then I have like all of this piled up. It's mostly sweaters that I just kind of reach for frequently, like my merch, we have my home sweater, and then I have this yellow one that it's like faded now because I wear the heck out of it. This I can donate, here's more merch. This is cute. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Love this, great for the fall. I bought this pink top from Aritzia. I also got it in white and I, I wanted to get multiple things, I think for free shipping. But I bought this and I don't really know what I was thinking. Like I like girly things, but not like this kind of pink girly. And I was going to return it, but then all of the stores shut down again. So I couldn't actually take it in and therefore I forgot about it. And so I'm gonna sell it. I have to tell you, I really enjoy living somewhere with seasons again. Like if you're new here and you don't know, this is really cool for fall. I lived in LA for the last six years, seven. And I really enjoyed the summer all the time. Like I just really enjoyed it. And then when I came back here and got to experience seasons again for the first time in six or seven years, I realized how much more fun it is. Like there's all these new activities for the different seasons. You get to wear different things. Like it's just, I really, I really genuinely like it. What are these? Cool pants. Okay, these are fall though. These are very cool, but again, like what was I thinking? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not this girl. Maybe in my head I would like to be, but like, let's be honest with ourselves. Like I'm not, I'm just not. See these, these are more me. They're brown, they're not like in your face. These are amazing winter pants. They're very comfy. I like them a lot. A little matching set. Yes. Haha. -ha. Pants and shirt together. One hanger. This is so comfy, but I just, I need to be honest with myself and I don't need it. I don't need it. I've done a really good job if I do say so myself. Do I feel like tackling 
this no okay i have a ton of space in here now like a ton so i'm thinking i'm gonna put the stuff i'm gonna sell which is like from here to here right in here like in this middle rack so that i can kind of clear up space on this it's starting to bend that's when you know <sighs> Okay, putting this stuff in, I'm like, this is kind of weird. Like, I just took all of this out to figure out what I don't want to just put it back in. But it's okay, because as long as things don't start getting squished. I only have two things left, so I feel good. It's organized chaos. Welcome to my life. There's still a lot to do. We're gonna take a break. Okay, see you in a bit. It has been some time. It was definitely a mistake sitting down on the couch because it took me a long time to get back off of it. Here's what I'm thinking. It's now getting like later in the day. It's getting late. I haven't eaten dinner and it's getting dark outside. I don't really want to do this. I'm going to be honest. I don't enjoy this process. I enjoy the aftermath. What I'm looking at right now, I'm not enjoying. You're not even seeing the worst of it. Let me just, like I just, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this. I want to not. I'm sorry for all my complaining. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to really quickly do this. I just have to suck it up. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna start by folding some of the stuff that I am keeping, like my active. Obviously my camera dies as soon as I'm ready to tackle this again, because that's just how things go. And all of my other batteries were also dead, which never happens. Anyways, before this dies again, I have things charging now. We are going to continue. Feeling pretty good. I did, while some things were charging, I did, ugh, I did clean the ground a little bit. I started folding things. I'll show you what I have. Put more things into the cell rack. I am not tackling any of this today. Like it's not so, it's not so bad. I'm not doing it. This is for another time, but this is kind of where I'm leaving it with my active wear. You know, this is, I feel like is very reasonable. So this is what we got now. Yeah, I'm gonna tackle this. I think most of this is keep, so I'm just gonna pick it all up and, and hang it. I will likely do one more closet clean out before my official, what is this? It's like a dust bag? Yes, it is. Okay, great. I will likely do another closet clean out before I move, like just a little mini one. This is more of like a major, Let's get rid of things. And I actually, how like, how are you supposed to hang this? I really do think I did a very good job with this clean out. Usually I have a, a harder time getting rid of things. I have also a return pile. You know what? I really want like a clean, fresh start when I move. So it's just like really good incentive to actually get rid of things. That's a return. And it feels really good to do it. Like I hate the process of it. Like I just, I don't enjoy it, but the after is so rewarding. Look how cute this dress is. Like so cute, unfortunately it did not fit me. So somebody else is gonna have to grab that because it's really freaking cute. Somebody deserves to look fantastic in it. Out of curiosity, let me know, how the heck? Let me know in the comments if you're somebody that like has a lot of crap like this. Like, you know, you walk into your closet full of stuff and you're like, I have nothing to wear. Let me know if that's you, cause that's very much me. Or let me know if you live a more minimal lifestyle or you have like a capsule closet. Let me know what type you are. I'm really happy though, cause half of this is getting donated. All the stuff that I'm bringing to my mom's, she'll show her friends that are interested in that kind of stuff. And then whatever's left will be donated. Guys, look at this skirt that I got. It's really cool. Like I can picture of the TikTok girls wearing this. I think we should place bets on whether or not I ever leave the house in this. Do we think I will or will I not? Ugh. The skirts also go up there. It's not, it's not organized up there, but that, that was a given. You guys. I've done it. Cheers to us. I've actually made a serious dent while it might not look like it just because of the stuff that I'm selling. This was seriously so productive. Let me walk you through. So this chunk of stuff, this is getting returned. So it's here for now. I'm gonna deal with that tomorrow. Here is the clothes I'm keeping. This is all to sell. And then there's a little bit on this side keeping this. This is some of my, my current stuff that I'm wearing. And then here are the three bags that I am donating. Very happy this is this is progress guys this is a serious improvement it may not be perfect but it's good enough for me i made it through i complained a lot i'm sorry about that now it's time for dinner because it's 9 15 it's far too late to be eating dinner but it is what it is hope you guys enjoyed watching this video let me know if you would like to see another closet cleanup before i move or if i should just like not because this was probably a little bit chaotic. If you are new here, definitely click the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so when I post, you will get notified. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, because that'd be nice. But I love you guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday with a regular vlog. Bye!